<laughs> this is my magical pouch. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Genesis. I'm Junebug. And this is... Let's see how this goes. And I know what you're thinking. Wow. Where did you get those t-shirts? <laughs> oh. Well, you're probably not, but we're going to tell you anyway. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, I'm Junebug. That's why it says Junebug. And then, that's why you're Sis Genesis, because you are not Junebug. That's true, I am not Junebug. So, my aunt has her own little embroidery business. Um, there's something on my lap, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> um, and so she made these for us for our birthdays. We didn't know we were getting them. No, these were They're really so cool. Really she cool made them. Really cool surprise. If you want to check out any of other his, uh, her other stuff, she embroiders a ton of stuff. She does customs. Um, check out Mother Hubbard on Instagram or Facebook. Cool. No, Aww. Hi. Hi, buddy. So, what are in our laps? Um, I have I a magical don't know. pouch. <laughs> I have, we have our hedgehogs. Yes. Here today. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Bruce, Quill? Yep. I have Quill. But Quill loves cozy things, so he's getting Bruce's baby pouch because if I were to hold him, he will just squirm and run and shove himself anywhere until he is cozy. So I'm like, okay, I'll just give him the cozy thing from the start, and now he's trying to get situated. It takes him a while to cozy up. And tell us about yours. <laughs> Bruce is a cranky guy. He does not like being touched. He does not like being picked up or pet in any way. You he hoffs at everything. He's just a swell guy. So today we're talking about some things we wish we would have known before we got hedgehogs. And we're going to pass on that to you. In case yes. you need one. <laughs> so I'll jump right into the first thing is how much they poop. Yeah, number one thing we wish we knew. <laughs> oh, it looked like you were just shaking the thing. No, it's him! Um, so obviously we did our research before getting our the hedgehogs. Don't think we didn't at all. But we learned the basics like common illnesses. What do they eat? How often yeah. do they sleep? How long do they live? I think I said common illnesses already. Yeah, diet was the biggest thing to look up to How make sure. How much space they need. Yeah, to make sure we can... What kind of stimulation they need. Make sure we can feed the things. Mm -hmm. So we did do stuff like that. But never once did an article that's like, oh, you want to get a hedgehog? They poop everywhere. All the time. And so... So much poop. And it's not like bunnies where it's dry. Right. These two guys, they eat dry cat food for their pretty much only source of food. They do make hedgehog food, but very rare, very expensive here in Michigan. Yes. Near us. Hello. And it's just got to be a high protein diet, which is typically found in cats. And their poop smells just like their food. It's just wet. It's slimy. It's imagine a cat, a cat, a shit in the litter box, but coming out of something this size. And they do it where they please. Yes. It's Hello. just as potent, except like they don't bury it like a cat does. So they just walk right through that stuff. Yep, yeah. especially on the wheel, because they won't stop while they're on their wheel to go. They'll just go while they're on the wheel, so it just gets all over. Yep, and then because they're spinning, it'll fall onto them. Yep, and they'll also pee while running too. Pee yep. and poop, and their wheels are disgusting. When uh, Junebug bathes them, it's I like I give them the bath. You know. Most people, I feel like, when you get in the shower, you feel the warm water hit you, then you just, you, most people pee in the shower. They feel like they gotta pee. That's these, why babies will pee or go to the bathroom in the bathtub. These, so do these guys. These guys poop in the bathtub. Like, as soon as that warm water hits their bellies, they're like, oh, gotta go. And it's not like once, like you just wait. Nope. It empties their system, I swear. I think they average about five to six times they go in a 10 minute bath. And so, most of the time, it's just waiting for them to stop pooping. Yes. So that's probably the, the first thing I wish I would have known getting a hedgehog is just 
how much poop. they poop, how much it smells, and like they just poop. So what about you, Junebug? What's something that you wish you would have known? I was gonna talk about the poop. Oh, there he is, hello. Yes, so I guess, again, along with the poop thing, they poop in the bath, they poop while they run, they just poop wherever, and they don't care. So when you give them their bath, their feet are usually covered in poop. They'll have poop on their stomachs. They'll mm. sometimes have poop just all over them. And yes, they need baths, which we did see that in basic care. Yep. But they also need foot baths from time to time, which is basically you just got to get their feet scrubbed down a little bit because they're covered in poop. Yeah. There's just so much poop. There's a lot of poop. For as little Imagine, as these guys. Like, you know when you get a newborn baby? Well, <laughs> you have a newborn baby. Yep. And you're like, that's a lot of poop for a little baby. But it doesn't usually reek so bad because it's just formula. Just imagine it, cat food smell. So I guess another thing I wish I knew was if you get a hedgehog, people are going to ask if you want any hedgehog they see for sale on Facebook or if their friends yep. are selling it. A lot of people get rid of their hedgehogs if you've seen it. Mm -hmm. So we got him because they just couldn't really take care of him anymore or they're just like, you know, it's not worth it. <laughs> and so we got him and we've been asked for two or three other hedgehogs, I think. If they reach out to you, Scott. And I'm like, no, we have two. That's enough. You got another thing you wish you knew? So number three. Just that they have personalities just like every other pet does, or just about every other animal. So you get your ones that are a little adventurous, uh, not terribly, not grumpy, but. Like, they're more social. Granted, he could have been more if we spent more time with him as a baby. But this guy, he doesn't like to explore. He's just angry all the time. He balls up. It doesn't take much to really get him oh, upset. Him. So, if you expect, if you expect, um, like, all types of one type of animal to oh. act the same way, that is certainly not the case. Unless it's fish. You can maybe make that assumption about fish. Yeah, but like all the rabbits, they have certain, they have different types of personalities, just like dogs, cats. Well, hedgehogs have different types of personalities. So number four, the thing I, because they have like three main personality traits. There's um, outgoing, cuddly, then there's like, or there's two main ones. There's like the outgoing, which is more quill, um, and then there's shy. Um, turns out that's what this is. is it? They don't even look at me, don't touch me. Is this it? is him being shy. This is the angriest shy person I've ever met. So I wish we knew that, which I guess stems along with the goes this surprised along with me. The fact that four and a half thing four and a half the, they require a lot of bonding if you get a shy one. So maybe this is good for somebody who wants a low maintenance pet but has the time to be able to sit with them. And all the time in the world for poop. Because we've tried working with them. There have been stretches where every day we would take him out and he'd just do this the whole time. He'd slowly get better after, you know, four or five days, but then at the end of the week. But then I feel bad because I know he's not enjoying it. Yeah, we're, we're putting more stress on him. So it's kind of, you have to weigh, like, yeah, socializing I'm... versus stress, which I feel like is very relatable to a lot of people. I like, booped at this his point. nose. Um, you got a five? Because mm. I sort of have a five. Go, off, go for it. Okay, number five. I, I heard about this, but, like, you legit could. You can look at... Legit get <laughs> salmonella from them. We have not. So you have to have, like, once you're done with your hedgehog, you must wash your hands, as I recommend with all animals. But, like, you got to tell your guests that. Like, you yeah. got to wash your hands. Yeah, like, when they get done petting and play with them, like. They're like, no, I'm fine. I have pet dogs. Like, no. You need to wash your hands. Yes. Oh, look at him. Hi, buddy. There you go. He's a little bit better. Spent all that time huffing. You could have been exploring this whole time. And then I guess a bonus one is, oh, gr granted, I've never heard anyone say this, that they're good pets for children. They're not. No, they're most certainly not. They're nocturnal, so they're 
doing most of their running on their wheels at night, which is not quiet because their wheels are huge. It looks like a potato. <laughs> it's not. It's not edible, my dude. They don't care. They 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 chomp. Oh, is he licking? Like, mm, yeah. No, he's just straight up biting. Now he's trying to lick, but he's gonna fall. Say, so I love this don't of your pants. Bruce, come on, man. You're smarter than this. Back up. I guess the bonus number six is they do that. Oh, we the did licking. not know that was a thing. Like licking. If they love something disgusting, and usually the things they love are disgusting. Yes. They'll lick it onto themselves. They'll foam at the mouth. They'll get the scent from the thing. Put the the foam with the scent like all over their their quills. They love shoes. They love your feet. I think that's I about guess. it. <laughs> <laughs>